This is Code Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. I'm going to do a quick video on flashing the light on DVD drive. I'm using Klusha's new iPrep 8.6 program. There's a couple things you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need the firmware, the 1.5 firmware. You're going to need Klusha's new iPrep 8.6. You're going to need a RS-232 COM cable plugged onto your COM port on the back of your computer and a connectivity kit of some kind. I've also soldered the 707 point in this DVD, the transmit point together. I've bridged the solder. Once you've got all that done and you've got your firmware, you open the iPrep program you need to load in all of the firmware, the Samsung, load in the BenQ, and load in the Light on 1.5. Check and make sure your RAID controller is correct. Your COM, COM port is going to be 1. Should be 1. Make sure your target drive is selected. which mine is G. Put a check and format make bootable and make sure there's a check and include batch files and click the start button. While that's working I'd like to say thanks to Commodore Forever, Caster, Clutch, and to everybody else involved for making all this possible. Once that gets done you want to close everything out and boot on to your flash drive. Once you're here, you want to go on and hook everything up to the computer, your connectivity kit, the COM cable, hook your SATA cable in to the drive. At this point, you just follow the on screen instructions. We're wanting to dump the light on, so we type D light and your serial number. I'm just using one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, or six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Hit enter. It says ensure that your light on drive is on and connected to COM1. It is connected and is powered on. Press any key. Alright, at this point, it says to receive the drive key. The follow, connect your drive with the serial COM port, eject the tray, which I'll eject it now. Power off. Close the drive tray halfway. I usually go a little bit more than halfway. Power on. And then says yes if you're ready. So hit Y, enter. It's pulled the drive key just that quick. It's making the dummy bin. It's all been successfully saved. It takes it a minute. Firm tool started up and it run and it built the hack firmware. I've already got a backup of this firmware and the key and all, but at this point you would probably want to power down reboot into Windows and make a copy of your key and all your information. At this point since I've already got that we're going to go on and flash this drive so we hit F light and the serial number Once again, it says make sure the light on drive is on and COM1. 
does not need to be connected now. I never unhook it till I'm finished. The drive will be erased if you're asked for Magic 28 or MTK vendor. Answer no. Press any key. It's erasing the drive. The erasing's finished. Now it says turn on, turn your light on off, then back on. For the following steps, you need to follow the on screen on screen instructions. If asked for 28 or MTK, answer no. When asked what do you want to do, select W for write. Give the file name light-cfw.bin. Press any key. So at this point, I've cut the drive off. Turning the drive back on. I know my port for my SATA cable I'm hooked to is 6. So I input that. It's asking me what I want to do. We want to write to the drive. So I hit W, enter. Now it's entering the ask for the firmware I'm wanting to put in, which is lit-cfw.bin. Enter. It's erasing the drive. Now it's writing the four banks. And once the prompt comes back up, the C prompt, you're finished now. All of this is taking place in iPrep, in DOS, got the keys, built the firmware, and flashed it all in one program in one step. That's it.